This is the second exhibition that I've designed with Greg and the CCA. The design elements here were kind of formatted or conceived in the first show and they were very sort of simple building blocks but it was always important for me that, that the design ran parallel to the work, it didn't try and reflect it, 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 it was not standoffish is too strong, but it, there was de definitely the design and then the, 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 there was the work and I was not trying to mirror any of the ideas reflected in the um, exhibition. So this time round, it was kind of a really interesting challenge compared to the first show, which was still very kind of print and model based, a traditional uh, exhibition in many senses. This exhibition, became much more based around time. There were a lot of films, there were lots of three-dimensional elements that could be manipulated in, in time and, and space. And there was a point where all this media, some of it traditional, some of it new media, some of it three-dimensional, needed to be able to be seen together so you could judge the work on itself without just looking at the technology that was presenting it. So that got me thinking as we knew that we were going to need a lot of screens. It seems ridiculous to be printing out screenshots of uh, AutoCAD desktops. But there needed to be a way to kind of unify these things and of course the monitors like the ones we have behind me here all come with black frames. So that seemed like an, a, a kind of a simple motif to take forward. So everything is, that is framed has a black frame, and that black frame is the same kind of one inch extrusion. So it kind of keeps things running on a very similar level. So as you tour the show and as you look at different images and quite different ideas from piece to piece, but then their presentation remains static. And then stepping back from that again, I wanted to take um, elements that I had in the first show of, of um, blocks of grayscale, so black, gray, mid-gray, and a white. And this time I used that motif in a kind of more um, scenographic sense by painting the walls and dividing each room into subsections. This kind of helps delineate the, the process in which the work was conceived. Because I think, if I understand rightly, it's not so much that the end result was, is, is the thing to be focused on. It was how that end result was achieved. So it's that narrative. So as you move through the gallery, as you walk through each space, it's not that you always see the same thing in each, each gallery at each time. And I, I enjoy that element where you could pass through this show three or four times and hopefully see <laughs> three or four different shows.